Hello Taurus, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Taurus, this is your reading for the month of October and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. Taurus, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the video. There is an extended reading for this one. The link for the same is in description box and comment section. In the extended, we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is a likely conclusion between you and this person. Coming back to this reading on YouTube Taurus, we'll see what is your energy, what is the energy of the person you're thinking about, you're dealing with or you will be dealing with. I'll also pull out some Romance Angel Oracle cards and we'll see what are the romantic messages for you for the month of October. Alright, so let's get started now. So what is your energy? We have Page of Cups, then we have the Hand Man, we have the King of Pentacles. For your person, we have Three of Swords, then we have Three of Cups, uh, the Chariot. Let me pull out some Romance Angel Oracle cards. So let me pull out some Romance Angel Oracle cards. <clears throat> what are the romantic messages for you? I'm going to... Uh, we'll check the romantic messages at the fag end. Make sure you watch the video till the end. Amazing. Okay. Uh, so look, Taurus, you may be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer. I'm hearing Libra, Gemini. I'm also hearing Capricorn. If the sign pops up, all the better. Let's not remain fixed on the signs. So you may be seeing a lot of 333, by the way. Okay, let me show you the cards. So these are your cards, Taurus. Hmm. We came like this, right? Right. So Taurus, what is your energy? You uh, you probably are feeling Taurus that there is a need to anchor yourself somewhere. Okay. Maybe um, you are running around a lot. Maybe you are the provider within the family and you are required to take in a lot of responsibilities. Maybe you are the uh, breadwinner in the family or maybe you're running a business and you have a lot of employees reporting to you or maybe if you're working somewhere you are required to travel a lot. Maybe for some of you there is a long distance daily travel, daily commutation from home to the workplace. I believe that there is a level of... Uh, you are, you're probably tired and exhausted and you simply want a break uh, and you want a break because you want to think through like there is so much of running around that is happening there are so many things that you're doing you're taking up so much of responsibility and somewhere there is still a level of uh, unfulfillment still you're feeling like there is something that is missing. There is something that is missing. And to find out what exactly is missing, you probably are thinking to anchor yourself. You probably want to stop running around or maybe simply take a break from whatever you are, uh, uh, take a break from your daily grind. Maybe you want to go and uh, go for a vacation or a break of two to three days, go on a road trip, hang out with your friends or maybe simply book a room in a hotel and just be there on your own and you don't want to be bothered by bothered by anyone else in your life when you're spending this time with yourself you don't want to get bothered 
yeah there is this energy where you want to feel unbothered you you are like i'm so freaking tired of continuous issues that are popping up and probably taurus for some of you you are the youngest in the family but still you but still uh, everyone around you is expecting so much from you and you're tired of fulfilling those expectations you're tired of taking the burden of other people you're tired of just giving and not getting what you want okay and you want love right now you and not just romantic love you want to feel affection even from your own family or from your friends maybe a small uh, appreciation or recognition for the efforts that you are taking and sometimes you feel like your family doesn't even care about how much work you are putting in for everything they are simply asking you to fulfill or whatever is going on in their life fulfill their needs and expectations or maybe uh, there is a uh, there is a repairs work in the home and there are other family members but still your fa- the the main person in the family they are expecting you to put efforts and uh, get things repaired okay and you're tired of this you're you're tired of fulfilling expectations of other people in the job place also maybe you are a talented person and your boss is expecting you to work hard a lot because other other people are not capable but you are uh, absolutely capable and you are a multi talented person that's why uh, for some of you maybe you were in certain relationships where you were a giver and you were not getting anything in back but somehow i am feeling like this is not simply uh, um issues in a in a romantic relationship this uh, these are issues everyday issues stemming from other relationships as well and you want to stop you you want to break you simply want to break torus okay you 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 want to pamper yourself you want to feel nice maybe you're feeling stressed out you want someone to come towards you talk some nice words to you appreciate what you are doing appreciate your efforts but nothing is happening and you are simply feeling that your efforts are getting unnoticed not the case that they are go- going unnoticed but no one is fucking opening their mouth to say two nice words to you it makes a big difference and you want to hear that but nobody is extending that hand of generosity nobody is uh, trying to be generous or forget about generosity nobody is trying to be nice and that is why you you want to take that break you want to spend some time with yourself you want to ask yourself are you in the right environment is this what you want is this where you're going to thrive okay you want you want abundance and you know that you're capable of uh, manifesting abundance in your life but the existing surround surrounding atmosphere is sort of pulling you down and you you want to take that break to think to yourself like whatever is happening in my life is this what i really want for some of you maybe uh, this is not what you're feeling but then whatever is going on in your life you are simply thinking that maybe some change is needed may, some of you may not be working anywhere some of you are in your 50s and 60s some of you are retired probably but there is a change that you are looking out for and you don't know what exactly is missing in your life and you want to take a break from your general routine to get in touch with yourself to know what exactly you want what what will make you really happy okay all right let's talk about your person we have three of cups with three of swords and we have chariot good news is coming your way people who were heartbroken uh, or people who broke your heart in the past they want to come back uh, good news with respect to new love is coming your way someone is coming okay for some of you i feel it's an option for some of you uh, you will meet a new person and as well as someone from the past is trying to come back okay but looks like your heartbreak is still fresh in your mind you may be saying that oh no i'm i'm 
um, it's done and dusted and I'm healed and everything but maybe the memories are still uh, fresh in your mind you have not forgotten you may have forgiven but you have not forgotten whatever has happened some of you have sharp memories you do not forget things easily uh, having said so doesn't mean that you're still holding grudges in your mind but the memories are still fresh so maybe even if this person comes back in your life it may be a futile attempt on their part okay you want to be happy you you just want to be happy okay you you are so done with you're already contemplating your existing lifestyle and your your existing life and events that have happened in your life you are you're doing a lot of self introspection around that okay and i'm very sure this is going to lead towards you removing certain people and energies and situation from your life so anyone from the past coming back will get their heart broken all over again okay you you want happiness and you are looking out for someone who is capable of making you happy and of course it's not uh, from a perspective of expectation uh but that's what a relationship is all about right you, uh, the other one person should make the other person happy the other person should make the first one happy so it's always a give and take so that is what you want you want someone who who will be responsible in a relationship you want someone who will play their role responsibly in a relationship okay uh, whoever this next partner is probably they will be staying at a distance from you they will have to travel to come and meet you so this may be an online connection to begin with but later on uh of course i see there is a relocation for someone once this relationship establishes uh, there is going to be a relocation for one person either you are going to get relocated to this person's place or they will get relocated to your place let's talk about the romantic messages we have religious factors your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path for some of you religion um uh, religion is a factor in your love life reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life okay so i told you right someone from the past is trying to come back calling your soulmate your prayers affirmations and visualizations help you bring together you are manifesting love you are definitely manifesting love oh my god we have wedding this situation involves marriage looks like the next person that you're going to meet will be your long term partner um will be your future spouse past life relationship you have known each other before so the next person may be a past life soulmate make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take make the effort All right. I hope this resonates and hit like, share and subscribe and comment on below. The link for the extended is in description box and comment section. In the extended we'll see what your person truly thinks and feels about you, what action they will take towards you, what is the likely conclusion between you and this person. All right. Take care of yourself and have a great time ahead.